What's good, you guys? We're back with another video. Do it yourself. I'm painting the brake calipers yellow. right now this is gonna be a do-it-yourself video and I'll explain the steps that I took but first of all you guys need to smash subscribe that way you can see whatever I'm doing to the G35 I have plenty of contact content I don't know why I always say that content on the car uh, I just painted the rims if you guys watched the video before this if you guys are already one of my subscribers and if not um, smash subscribe and to those of you that have subscribed man I thank you and I appreciate it a lot um, I just do this as a hobby try to help people out I enjoy Working this, working on cars and messing with my G35, and yeah. Other than that, let me show you guys where I'm at with the brake calipers right now. So let's go. So basically, I want to explain to you guys with the brake calipers. I did clean them with brake cleaner, sprayed them completely off with the brake cleaner, dried them. After I dried them, I wiped them down with acetone, and to clear clear off all the brake dust and all that, because you don't want anything on there when you paint these. And then after I did with the brake dust and the acetone, um, I cleaned it all off and then I wiped or I sanded it with 320 grit. I sanded all the brake calipers down uh, and with the wax, and, I used the wax and tar remover with the, with the sandpaper. And it's actually a sponge you can pick up at AutoZone. It has it, it's about this thick. Um, let me show you guys really fast. So yeah, those are basically all the materials you're gonna need for this job. Tape, paper, and the other things that I just showed you to in order for the job to come out right. And again, at the end, when I'm getting ready to clear coat these, the rims that are behind me, which are in the other video, and if you guys wanna learn about that, go watch the other video. And, um, but I'm getting ready to spray these right now. They're all ready to go, ready to be painted. I cleaned them up, did everything to it, taped them all off. I'm ready to do it. My the fender dude, I had my fenders rolled while I was doing this, so and he just left. And that video will be coming out soon. If I didn't upload it before this one, I'm not sure which one I'm gonna upload first. Enough of me talking, you guys. I'm sorry. Let's uh get to painting these calipers right now so you guys can see how they look. I'm gonna walk around real quick and show you guys the before and then how I paint and then we'll show the after. Let's go. This is the paint I'm gonna be using. I ordered this online because AutoZone did not have it. It's for high heat, so it doesn't come off. Let's paint this shit. This is the back driver's side. Sheesh. Light coats, light coats first. That's just light. Let's do the next one. Moving right along, you guys. Let 
Light coats, light coats, light coats. For the first one, for the first one. Because we wanted to stick, you guys. Remember that. And don't ever go so close like this. You're going to get runs and you don't want none of that. This is really thick paint. So far, so good, you guys. I can see a little bit of separation in the paint, and I don't know why that is. I don't. Now, okay, now I'm gonna let that dry for about, mm, I say 10 minutes, 10 minutes should be fine. And then I'll come back and I'll hit it again with the second coat. Um, I'm not gonna show you guys that's a hella recording and I don't wanna make a long ass video out of this. Um, but I'll just come back and basically show you guys when I'm using the clear coat and I'll show you guys when I lay the clear on there or whatever. And then, yeah, stay tuned, man, for the videos. I've got a lot of things coming on the G35, man. I have other parts coming. I got headers, test pipes, like, I'm going full out. First, I was going for the looks and everything, and now it's time for performance. Before I put my performance mods on there, before I put the performance mods on my car, you guys, um, I have a smog coming up in about three months. So after the smog, I will be good for two years, and I will be going full bolt-ons. So that's why you guys need to smash subscribe right now and follow the build. I would highly appreciate it. Leave comments in the section below. It always helps. Stay tuned for the next video. Also, you guys, man, some of you guys might be curious as to what I'm going to do for the decal. Um, I do have decals to put back over there to make the Brembo say. And um, as you can see in the, uh, the one before, it was red. And uh, let me show you those right now. Those are the decals. Those two are for the back. Obviously, they're smaller. And then these two are for the front. So I am putting the decals back on there, you guys. Stay tuned for the video. All right, you guys, this is the end of the video for the brake calipers, man. I just done the clear coat. If you guys want to see the way it looks, you have to hit subscribe. And I'll do a full walk around on the way it looks with the wheel spacers, the new gloss black rims, and the brake calipers and give you guys a good look at them. And then you guys can let me know what you guys think. But as of now, the video, this is done. This is your do it yourself. And I use the clear coat, the same thing I use for cars, but you guys can get the 2K clear at AutoZone. I think it's like 20 bucks or whatever. And you can use the same clear coat. I like putting clear because it looks really nice with the with the clear finish and the gloss on there. And plus it's like a sealer for the paint and it just holds up a lot better. But man, make sure you guys smash subscribe, man. And thanks for watching. Until the next video, I'm out, you guys.